bound and gagged. My broken body thrashes violently with every bump the vehicle encounters. Agony sears the flesh beneath my skin as the dirty, rough carpet scratches my tear-stained cheek. No matter how hard I fight to escape the enclosed space, it's no use. There's no way out. Darkness taunts my conscience, threatening to sweep me into its deadly clutches. I now realize this is it, that my time on this earth has finally come to an end. Most people are scared to die, but not me. I pray for it, yearn for its peace. All I want is to be with my mother and the angels, rather than the monster I've been forced to endure since her death. The blood that pumps to my heart slows with fear when I feel the vehicle come to a stop. Seconds later, the trunk pops open, revealing a black sky and full moon. Everything is eerily quiet. Only the distant sound of nature can be heard. Until the whistling starts, a bone-chilling melody that haunts me at every turn. His shadow appears like a grim reaper, the face of pure evil. He holds a crowbar, slapping the hard metal against his palm with a spine-stiffening sound. Time's up, Alice. My body trembles uncontrollably as he solidifies what I already suspected. Sinister eyes peer down at me as a vicious smile curls the edge of his lips. Your death will be my lure, and I will finally get my revenge. Revenge. It's what has driven every sadistic move he has ever made. A revenge that stole years of my life, and now someone else will suffer the same fate.